What is happening guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. Today we are back in the garage with the 135 and we have a pretty interesting upgrade for this car. All of you audiophiles, you're gonna be excited about this one. I've actually never done this in depth of a sound upgrade on any of my cars. So this is gonna be really fun. Big shout out to the guys over at Beamer Tech for sending everything out. I'm gonna give you guys my honest opinion of how this upgrade sounds on this car. But from everything that I see here, this should be a pretty massive difference. This is the Alpha One sound upgrade for our BMWs. I'm gonna have all the stuff linked down below. You can go ahead and put in your VIN and see what they have available for your car over at Beamer Tech. But let's go ahead and take a look at everything that they sent to us and start this install. So before I show you guys all of the speakers in this Alpha One Beamer Tech kit, as you guys know, Black Friday is quickly approaching and Beamer Tech is launching a massive sale on all of their products. You can use the code BF2022WIPS, all caps, no spaces, and you can receive 10% off on all speakers. You'll also get the new Alpha One amplifier at the old amplifier price and a free DIY essentials kit. The free kit will be available only using the coupon code BF2022WIPS. This deal will only be valid till the 28th of November 2022 at 11.59 p.m. This is going to be the best Alpha One deal of the year. So if you guys have been thinking about upgrading your sound, make sure you take advantage of it. You can get discounts on audio upgrades and a free kit of the DIY essentials with the coupon code BF2022WIPS. All caps, no spaces. I highly recommend you guys take advantage of this deal while it lasts. All right, so the first portion of this upgrade will be the actual amplifier itself. This is actually the new Alpha One amplifier and it's even easier to customize than Beamer Tech's previous amp. It comes preloaded with several tune sets that you can switch yourself using your laptop to adjust the music to your preferences. It also comes with custom mounting brackets for your exact vehicle. It remains fully plug and play and it has an increased power output of RMS 710 watts. This is really what's going to be the, the brain, the the heart of all of the sound. And as much as these speakers will help, this is going to make a massive difference in this car. Next, we have these guys. These are the subwoofers that actually go underneath the front seats. They are gonna be responsible for delivering all of that bass in this entire system upgrade. They look really good and you can see that they have the plug here. These speakers are in fact fully plug and play. No wire cutting is needed since they've already been made to match the acoustics and mounting locations of every BMW vehicle. They were also made to handle much more power than the OEM speakers. Moving along to this box, we have some mid-range speakers, we have some tweeters, but yeah, we definitely have our work cut out for us today. I'm excited to get into it. Last but not least, this is really cool. I was not expecting them to send this, but they sent this little toolkit. This is the DI DIY Essentials Kit that is going to be free when you guys use the coupon BF2022 WHIPS at checkout, which has a lot of the more common tools that you'll need on BMWs. One thing that we will be using that's not here is obviously a trim tool. I feel like the trim tools are gonna be one of our best friends today. So big shout out to these guys for sending everything out, man. This, this kit is going to make a massive difference. In general, the sound system in this car, it isn't terrible, but it's definitely not great. Car was made in 2009, things have definitely developed since then, but upgrading to something like this, I think will make a, a really big difference just overall in the driving experience. And of course, if you love music like myself, then this is definitely a necessary upgrade. So without further ado, my friends, let's go ahead and start this install process. We are first going to knock out the speakers in the door cards. And then of course we have a little tweeter right up here. You have this guy right here, which is a mid-range speaker. And then we'll slowly go ahead and work our way to the back of the car and lastly knock out the amp. Let's get into the install. All right, so first thing is first, we're gonna start with the driver's side door card. So starting with the handle, you're gonna to want to get underneath the bottom side over here. And it should pop out like that. And you can sort of just work it all the way out from the clips and it should just pop right out. You'll see that some of these clips stayed on the door, not a big deal. All right, once we pop that off, you're gonna have one little T20 buried inside of there. Go ahead and remove that. You're also gonna have another T20 right up here in the top. Take both of those out and then you should be good. All right, so once we have that all the way loose, we've got this little clip down here in the corner. This little piece is just a cover for a bolt that is behind here. Go ahead and pop that out. This is again a T20. 
So those are actually free now. What we can do now is pull up the electronic cover for the windows right here. And we just need to get this out so we can unplug the electronics and then everything will technically be free from the actual door when we start popping it off. So when removing this part right here, there's a series of clips that go around it. However, on this side, there's these little tabs that stick in over here. So you don't wanna lift up from the back or you can break it. It is gonna be pretty firm and difficult to get out, but you just need to work it with a combination of your trim tool and then your hands. I'm gonna start here and kind of work around this way and then slowly just pop it out and push out this way and then unplug it. All right, so this guy is definitely gonna fight you, but once you get it up on this side, it should pop out. There's these little guys running around. That's what's holding it in. They're very, very tight. And for this plug right here, we're gonna push this in and pull this back. So once you push that in, you should be able to pull that. Pulls the whole plug out just like that. All right, so now this should be completely free. Basically, there's a series of clips around the door card and they are extremely tight. So I'm just gonna work my way around and pull the whole thing off. One thing to pay attention to is there's going to be a rod that goes up into the locking mechanism up here. So you're gonna wanna make sure that that comes off. And then also there's gonna be a line running up to the uh, door handle itself and you need to undo that one as well, so. Right, so there's that locking rod I was telling you about. Mine just popped right out. And then we'll have a couple of plugs from the old speaker that we need to remove. We'll have to fish out the window plug as well. And then this guy right here is for the actual door handle. And the way that you wanna work this out is there's a little clip under there. If you see that part of the clip right here, we're gonna pull out and lift up and the whole thing should release. So I will try and do it one handed. Yep, there we go. <laughs> so that'll come right out, fish out the plug for the windows and then this piece for the door be wrapped around these clips down here undo that and lastly we'll undo the two speaker plugs right there cool and the door should be completely free at that point so really not too hard to do that uh it comes out relatively easy. There's a bunch of torque screws and some clips and you'll get it done. So taking a look at our mid-range speaker in the door card, I'm gonna pop these off and then this all should just come right out. And if we look at our kit here, I'm going to assume this will be the one that replaces that. And then it looks like there's also an adapter for the wiring. And then that will plug into the factory plug that goes into the actual car. And it should be that simple. Let's go ahead and pull those 10 mils off and throw it on and see if it fits. All right, so I'm learning as we go along here, but once we throw in our new speaker, before you do so, if you try to just put it on like this, it's not going to sit flush. And what you need to do is this kit comes with some spacers and new hardware. And the way that this is going to work, you're basically no longer going to be using the factory eight millimeters. They now have these Allen head nuts that are kind of like spacer nuts. And then you have two different size spacers. You're going to have the larger one, which is going to go underneath the speaker. And then you're going to put the speaker on and then you're going to put the smaller one on and then you're going to use the Allen nut. So what we'll do is we'll work around all of these screws throw on the bigger spacers like so now we'll go ahead and place the speaker on and this only lines up one way so it's not like you're gonna be able to put it on incorrectly you'll see what i mean when you do that and so once you have that on we put these smaller spacers up top all the way around like so and then we take these guys and throw them through and let them thread onto the existing bolts All right, so door speaker is in. Let's go ahead and remove the tweeter. And your tweeter is going to be obviously right here. There's basically a lip that goes in this way. So you're gonna to wanna to pull out this way and kind of up and out like this. I'm gonna do my best to show you guys. It's kind of difficult one-handed. So yeah, it's just gonna pop right out, but it has this little lip right here that is wrapping inside. So you're just gonna pop it out like this. Let's take this over to the workbench, replace the tweeter. All right, so here's the piece that we pulled off from the door that has the tweeter in it. Be a little bit of foam backing that we need to pull out. Like that. And then here is the actual tweeter itself. Basically the way that this is held in is there's four little clips you're gonna see on the top, bottom, left and right. There, we're gonna push those out, pull out the tweeter. It should pop right out once we do that. All right, 
came loose pretty easily. And so now we can take our upgraded tweeter and install it the same way we removed the other one. You're gonna see a little notch right here. And if you look on the tweeter, there's a little notch on the end there. And go ahead and line those up. And that should pop right into place, just like that. Let's throw our foam back on. And we can go ahead and throw this guy back in the car. All right, got that back in. And these two guys right here are gonna plug into the new mid-range speaker. So the tweeter is going to be plugged directly into the new mid-range. It'll plug right in. Same orientation as before. However, the plug coming from the amp is now gonna have this little extension piece, as it says right here, amp in, mid out. So we'll plug that into the amp and into the mid, and then we should be good. Should look like this when you're done. There is also a little bit of adhesive on the back of that part, so just stuck it onto the door. And uh, yeah, we can go ahead and put the door back together. All right, got all the clips in, everything's back together. Plugs popped right back into place on the new mid-range from the tweeter and the inside of the door card. And now we can go ahead and put everything back in, all the little Torx bolts. Silver one is gonna go here, two black ones on here. Pop our window controls back into here, cover on, and we're done. So we have officially knocked out both mid-range door speakers and both of the tweeters in the door. Now we're gonna be working on the speakers underneath the seats. So what we're gonna do is adjust the seat so we can undo the actual bolts. I believe it's like a T50 or a T60, these guys right here. So we're gonna move it all the way back, undo these two, move it all the way up, and then undo the two in the back. And I'm gonna do that on both sides. And then what I'm going to do is once everything is loose, I'm going to disconnect the battery. Reason being is there's airbags in these seats. If the battery is still connected, it's going to throw an airbag light. Adjust everything, remove all the bolts, and then go ahead and disconnect the battery, pull out the seats, and then we can work on the speakers. Just kind of reverse the process and put it back in. Not too bad. <laughs> Here is where we're going to find the other speakers. Yeah, you already know we're gonna do a nice vacuum session too. That'll be nice, but let's remove these covers right here. Just a bunch of Phillips screws. All right, so once the sub has been revealed, 
you're gonna have some more suppressed press T10s running around. So I'm gonna pop these out. And then I believe we have the plug that we need to fish out as well. All right, so once we're in here, you can obviously see the entire sub right here or speaker under the seat. We have a couple of 10 mils on each corner right there. We'll pop those out. And then we have a plug on this side that we'll undo. And we should be able to release this entire thing. So it's in. <laughs> it's actually shocking how easy everything is with this kit because it's made for BMWs. It's made for this car. It's just plug and play. Like it's so simple. And I think that that's one of the big selling points on these kits. Like anyone can do this. If you got basic tools, you can make this happen. It just takes a little bit of time and patience. So this one is good. I'm gonna knock out the other side real quick. This is just a disgrace. We're gonna go ahead and clean that up as well. Any excuse to get your OCD out, right? Looks great in here, man. Looks great. This is just one of those things. You might as well attack it while you got the seat out. Um, we're gonna leave the seats out. We're gonna work on the rear speakers, but all this turned out really good. All right, so we're gonna have these two mid-range guys in the back and then these two tweeters in the back as well. I suggest just putting it up like that so you can work through it. But here we are, we've got one, two, three, four, five, eight mils. We're gonna pop those out, release the plugs, and then throw in the new one. All right, got the new one up here. Remember, it's gonna have a little adapter. There's one for each side, so two total. This is going to go to the amp cable, and then we have the tweeter here, and the tweeter will go into this side. So just the same way we pulled it out. So let's go ahead and throw these in the car. All right, so we got this side done, all good. Obviously, same process over here. 
I'm gonna do that off camera. Doors, rear speakers, subs under the seats, and that leaves us with only one more installation, the amplifier. All right, time to access the amplifier, and it should be in that corner, so I'm gonna pop this guy off, pull out the trunk liner, that. Cool, so once you have this covering off, fold this back in the back left corner. There's going to be a plastic piece that you remove. And then this is the actual amp. You're gonna have a couple of eight mils holding it on, and then you'll just unplug it from the harness, and I'll show you what we do next. All right, so we have the factory amp out, and you're gonna have a couple of more nuts right here. And then we can go ahead and take this guy, I'm gonna remove these little things on the bottom here, and then this will mount directly up to the factory bracket. <laughs> So there are a couple of other wires here. One is for a remote and one is for like USB. If you wanna do all that, if you need all that, we don't really need that. So we're not gonna worry about it. We are simply just going to power this up. We're gonna plug it right back into the car and power it up. We have our adapter onto the amp and this should plug directly into the factory harness. And of course, everything will bolt directly back up into the factory mounting places. So I'm gonna need two hands to get in there and do this, but I'll show you when I'm done. All right, so everything popped right back into place. We've got the harness ran, tucked away quite nicely and I think we're good. I think that's it, man. I gotta put the rest of the car back together, but other than that, it's music time. And that, my friends, was a job well done. There's only one thing left to do. All right, I tried not to listen to too much because it, I, I kept the volume super, super low because I was trying to find like a good song for this. So here's a copyright free song by Oi. It's gonna be Siren Screen. And I didn't even turn it up, but the bass is in insane. It's so nuts. But this will actually be like my initial reaction to playing the song and hearing it. Yeah, from, from like the small little snippet I heard, dude, it sounds nuts. Bro, it sounds like I got subs. So I flattened everything out, flattened all the EQ out. It sounds so good. It sounds so good. Holy crap. Wow. I think what you notice the most is the bass, man. The bass is just nuts. It's coming right out from underneath me. So I try to just flatten everything out and then I'll tune it later. The bass is so good. It's super clear too. The sound is so good. Wow. That's impressive. I don't even know what to say. Like that is just such an insane difference for how easy that is to put in. It just takes a little bit of time, but damn dude, I did not expect it to be that much better. Holy crap. All right guys, so we just wrapped up the installation and the first listening session and it is incredible. The difference is extremely dramatic. Everything is super clear. The bass is really good. The car from factory just really didn't have that great of a sound system in general. So a simple upgrade like this made a world of a difference. The next thing that I'm going to tackle in the future is going to be the head unit. I don't wanna do something that's too aftermarket. I wanna find like a good OEM plus type solution for my phone just to make things a little bit easier to connect and whatnot. Right now I'm just 
just using like an aux jack Bluetooth wireless connector deal. But I truly think that the best part about this kit, I mean, obviously it sounds great. I know it's difficult for me to translate that through the camera into the computer, but it's so easy to install because everything is made for your car. When you enter your VIN, you can find out which products are available for your car specifically. It's literally just plug and play. It's so simple. So what I'm gonna do is live with it for a little bit. And once I tune it and get everything dialed in, I'll make an update video for you guys to kind of tell you what I think about it. But so far, remarkable. It's an outstanding difference. So I'll have everything linked down below. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I know it was a little bit of a longer one, so thank you for hanging in there if you made it all the way to the end. But just like that, we're gonna wrap this up. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.